Hello piggy people. So tonight I want to show you what my routine is every morning and every night for apple dumpling. So if you don't know, she's my piggy who has a stone in her kidney. Previously she's had lots of bladder stones. So I just want to show you what our routine is. So first we're going to start off with giving her Medicam and her urinary support tablet. There you are. Good girl. So that's our first step. Medicam is a bit of a pain med and also an anti-inflammatory because she does have a stone embedded high up in her urethra which causes her irritation. And the urinary support tab is just to help with um, any sludge in her pee. And it also has extra vitamin C and some B vitamins in it. Then next we give tramadol which is an opiate pain med. And along with that, I make sure to give her some Sherwood Recovery food. When you're giving out pain meds, you should make sure they have something on their tummy. And then I'm also going to give her a herbal med that is Stone Breaker to help with kidney stones. So next step is I get Apple out of the cage. I don't have her just yet because I get my stuff prepped first. So she does have to get her Tramadol, which is in liquid form in here. So once I give her her Tramadol, I give her some Sherwood recovery food to make sure she has some food in her system because pain medications you need something going through your system or it can be quite harsh on your tummy. So we feed the Sherwood recovery food. So the kind that I have, all the stuff comes in packets now. So I just have to open a small packet, mix it with water and what I don't use I put in the fridge. Um, so I use up this packet amount, it says it does about 45 milliliters in about 24 hours. You don't want to keep it too much longer than that. Now the next thing that we're using is this. It's called Stone Breaker. So this is specifically supposed to be targeted for your kidneys and gallbladder. Obviously this is a human product so this is one thing that I'm like not telling anybody to use for their guinea pig. You'd have to clear it with your vet if you want to. Like, you know, that's up to you. But I'm just telling you this is what I'm using. I'm not saying it works or it's going to do anything for her, but I'm trying to promote kidney health for her and if there was a chance it could shrink her stone or break it apart, cool. So anyway, this comes in capsules, so she gets half a capsule worth every morning and then the other half at night, so a full capsule I guess you could say per day. So there's some water in this dish here and I just open the capsule up and take about half of it out, put the little cap back on and it goes back in the jar. So she likes the flavor of this, so I just have to mix it up in here. And the water amount that I have in here probably does about three of these syringes, so about three mils. And then I have another three mil syringe that I put the water in there to get every last bit out. So that's giving her an extra six mils in the morning and an extra six mils of water at night just to get that through her system. So next I am going to get our little patient out and give her all this stuff. Alright so I have Apple out. First thing she's going to get is Tramadol. Now the Tramadol she doesn't care for very much. Um, maybe it tastes a bit bitter but it's mixed with strawberry. So I only have to do, right now, she's at 0.25 mils twice a day. So I put it in and I hold her head back just a little bit to make sure that she swallowed it. Because Apple is notorious if she doesn't want something to let it pour out of her mouth. <laughs> so that's that. So next, I just got to get my stuff here closer. You gotta, you gotta stay in camera. Everybody's watching. Sorry if my arm's reaching in front, this is really awkward. Okay, so next is the recovery food. She's not the best for taking this either. Sometimes she likes it, sometimes she just gets annoyed. But that's Apple's personality. She kind of gets annoyed at stuff if you're doing what she doesn't want you to be doing. But I like to try to give her as much as she'll take fairly willingly. I mean, I kind of have to force it a little bit but I want to make sure she gets some food going through her system and it's a nice extra boost because this has extra vitamin C 
and it also has B vitamins, things to help with her digestion, a little extra fiber, all that good stuff. Well, she must be fairly hungry today because she's taking it pretty easily. I mean, she's an awesome pig. She just can be very, very stubborn. Whereas some of the other pigs, like, they'll eat the syringe with this in it if they could. She just sometimes really doesn't want you to bug her. But she doesn't have a choice. So this is what we do every morning and every night. So I have to get up extra early to make sure I have time before work. So I give myself about an extra half hour so that I can sit here with her to feed her and get all her meds in. Good job, sweetie. So the other thing I'm gonna give her is this stone breaker. So as you can see, this is a really dark liquid. So it has herbs in there that are supposed to be good for cleansing your kidneys. Um, she does like this flavor. I just have to push it in slowly so that she doesn't let it pour out of her mouth again. Good girl. And this is a nice way to get some more fluids into her so that she's a little extra hydrated. Overall, I'd say Apple's doing very stable. Uh, she still does have uh, peeing problems, so I think she's going to ever, forever have to be kept shaved. But I think a lot of it is being a bit incontinent from that stone high up in her urethra. So I don't think it's something that we can ever fix. So I'm just going to pour the rest of our water in here because I want to get all of the stuff out. Now it looks like muddy water. Have a bit more. Good girl. Good girl. So yeah, this is basically what I do for the next little while, just sit here with her. Um, I'm also doing a belly bath still for her. So as you guys can see, she's already like, yeah, I don't want any more of this junk. But it's kind of too bad. So I'm still doing belly baths because she still does have the peeing problem. And even though she's shaved, it doesn't stick on her skin making her all wet. But she still has the tendency to get a little bit of, you know, sore skin if you let that pee sit there. So I'm doing about every other day of washing her um, belly and bum. And then I put on coconut oil or I have like that calendula lotion. Just kind of mix it up between what I put on there. And like her skin's staying nice. It just sometimes you can tell it's a little bit red right where most of her pee will sit. But doing the best that I can for that. I mean I can't do much else than try to keep her super tidy. Okay guys, so um, I'm just going to keep feeding her. I don't know if people want to keep watching this. I guess I can keep it running. And if you don't want to watch, that's fine. I'll show you once I get her put back in the cage. Her walking around if you're curious. Good girl. Yeah, she's getting a bit full. But I like to make sure she gets all of this in. So I think if she stays stable, um, I think I'd probably go get her into the vet again for another x-ray maybe in a couple months, like probably about at this time, another month and a half really, to see if anything's changed or does she have any more stones made, what's that stone in her kidney look like, does it still look the same, just for curiosity. So. Who knows? Um, and that Stonebreaker stuff, you can get it on Amazon, or actually just saw now, after a little bit of searching, that the company is called Au Naturel, 
and they actually have their own website as well. So Valerie from Valerie Zoo, well Valerie's Cozy Shop and Piggy Stop now, uh, she picked that up for us which was really nice of her. So she's the one who introduced us to it, to giving it a try because at this point it's one of those things that what have you got to lose and if it helps her kidney function at all or as I said if there's some miracle that it helps do anything to the stone in a positive way that would be cool but I have no idea but as I said before as long as Apple is comfortable with her pain I'm gonna keep giving her what I can to see if I could do anything to help her Hey girl Okay guys, so I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. If you like watching guinea pig videos, learning how to care for us, seeing product hauls or reviews, or really anything else guinea pig, please subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. Down below I've left two more videos for you to pick from, so keep on watching.